Welcome to CHF Informations. According to controversial new research, Christopher Columbus was a Portuguese secret agent whose voyage to America was an elaborate ruse played on the Spanish to further Portugal's commercial interests. Christopher Columbus was a Genoese explorer and navigator who completed four voyages across the Atlantic Ocean sponsored by the Catholic monarchs of Spain, paving the way for widespread European exploration and European colonization of the Americas. His expeditions were the first Europeans to make contact with the Caribbean, Central and South America. But that historical fact about Columbus is incorrect, and historians keep a secret about his life. He was a spy. It implies that, far from discovering America in 1492, Columbus and others in Portugal were already aware of its existence, and that it obstructed any western sea route to the Spice Islands. To keep the spice trade to itself, Portugal dispatched Columbus, who was actually Salvador Fernandez Zarco, a Portuguese nobleman, to deceive the Spanish into believing that the route to the Indies lay westward. This theory is the result of 20 years of research by Mascarenhas Barreto, a historian at Lisbon University, and is the subject of a book that was recently published in the United Kingdom. Dr. Barreto denies Columbus ever came from Genoa. The explorer was never heard speaking or writing in Italian, he only spoke and wrote in Portuguese and Spanish. The only person with his name in Genoese records was a poor wool carter's son, an unlikely candidate for the highly educated navigator who later married a Portuguese noblewoman. Dr. Barreto claims to have solved the mystery of Columbus's signature, which was always coded with a preceding monogram. According to Dr. Barreto, the signature can be read as Christopher Colon, Columbus's is the anglicized form, but also as Salvador Fernandez Zarco. The letters are given by the monogram, which has never been unraveled before. Dr. Barreto claims that Columbus's elaborate deception was necessary because he was a secret agent. This explains why, when Columbus returned from his 1492 voyage, he first reported to the King of Portugal rather than the King and Queen of Spain. It's also possible that's why he gave the islands of the Greater and Lesser Antilles Portuguese names. The first he called, Salvador, after his real first name, and the second, Cuba, after his birthplace in Portugal. Some historians have long claimed that Europeans arrived in America prior to Columbus. There are reports of Portuguese coins in the Caribbean prior to Columbus's arrival. A few academics in Portugal and America have agreed with his theory. However, the majority of people oppose it. Tripe, said Professor Charles Boxer, the Dean of British Columbus Experts. That's all we have for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.